this week's challenge is all about not using pesticides. So whether you have a lawn and you are interested in maintaining the lawn, or you have a wild native landscape and you're interested in maintaining it wild and native, we're here to tell you that you should not use pesticides. There are so many reasons to stop using pesticides. Not only are they bad for your health and bad for the environment, they're bad for the bees and the birds. There's so many benefits to stopping using them, like improved biodiversity and more bees and birds and bugs. And, ooh, look, there's a fun bug there because we don't use any pesticides here. So you may be asking, what do I do instead? Well, if you have a lawn, you could do some soil testing to understand what's happening in your soil. You could aerate, you could mow a little higher to get the grass thick and strong, and you can overseed grass seeds. And if you have a native wild landscape and you're interested in removing the invasives, you could use an OMRI listed herbicide, you could make your own vinegar spray, you could hand pull the weeds, and you could really encourage your native plants to outcompete the weeds and soon you'll see that there's gonna be less and less weeds if you do that. When you stop using them, there are also so many benefits you'll get. Improved soil health, your soil will hold water longer so you'll need to irrigate less or use your hose on your lawn less. You will also have an increased carbon sequestration in your, in your landscape and your landscape will help fight climate change better. And you will also be creating a landscape that is better for your family's health, my family's health, and everyone on planet Earth's health. And here at Rewild Your Campus, we work with students around the country to eliminate toxic pesticides from schools. So whether you are a student or you have a child in school or you're a homeowner looking to eliminate pesticides from your backyard, reach out to us. If you want to chat and learn more about how to eliminate pesticide use in your school, on your front yard, in your backyard, or in your neighbor's yard, reach out to us at campus at rewild.org and we can't wait to work with you. Thank you for tuning in. And don't forget, no pesticides. This week, next week, and all the weeks after. after.